The Cook Islands are a protectorate of New Zealand in the South Pacific. My wife Anne and I spent three weeks as global volunteers on the main island of Rarotonga. I was advised by Global Volunteer Headquarters to bring my video equipment just in case an opportunity should arise. I fit two video cameras into my photography computer backpack. We stopped at Titicavaca College, a high school, on our Global Volunteers assignment tour. Claire Morgan, a teacher who was having trouble getting her students motivated, looked over the list of interests and abilities we had assembled during orientation. She bubbled over and asked, Who does the movies? I was within two feet of her and I blurted out, I do. The next day, I was at the head of the 11A English class with Claire telling the students about my experience in filmmaking. I scanned the walls of this movie poster-laden room. Cook Islanders are really into Hollywood entertainment. Claire told the class, with Tom's skills and guidance, we will make a movie that can be sent to the United States and other countries to show your life here in the Cook Islands. The students were skeptical. I was then given the task of making an on-the-spot impromptu lecture on the filmmaking process. I cited the three elements of making a film, scripting, shooting, editing. We spent the next week learning more about films and the importance of editing. Their homework was to write about what they had learned. From their first assignment, what it is to be a Cook Island student, the students produced storyboards and a shooting script. What's the action for your one? Going to school, that one. Yeah, okay, it's just right. We then lined up talent, created a shooting schedule, and assembled shots for what was shaping up as a 12-minute documentary. I showed the students how to use the video cameras, and they were the stars, acting, shooting, and really getting into the filmmaking process. My computer facilitated the assembly of the film. They had been taught why editing was so important. The world premiere took place in the classroom on November 1, 2006, which was the last day of my global volunteers assignment. The students were amazed at what they had accomplished. Claire and I were proud of these students who had learned about the movie making process, had written about this process, and had made a movie in only two weeks from the first inkling of this project. Are you up to this challenge?